Gleak Football Media Day here in Grand Rapids alongside back-to-back -back National Coach of the Year, Tony Anise. Coach, it's uh, got to be a good feeling that football is about here. Not at all. Not at all. Um, summer's great. I love the warm weather. And probably in the next uh, month, two or four, we're going to be in a snowstorm and it's going to be lousy weather. And so, yeah, it's... Uh, it's obviously mixed feelings. I've coached, uh, I think this is my 36 year as a head coach, and 36 years I kind of dread, you know, starting football. But once that first day hits, I'm always excited, and, and it'll be the same this year. When that first day does roll around, what are you expecting to see out on the field? Well, I, you know, it's the same old deal. You know, I'm going to see a bunch of gritty guys that have uh, really paid a huge price to, to be out there. Um, you know, there's one of two ways you can go when, when you feel like you're on the top, and one is you continue to climb and fight, you know, to be gritty to, to, you know, try to improve. Or the second way is to be complacent, and we're the first way. We've been far from complacent. Our guys have had a great off season, started truthfully in January, and um, guys just, you know, just are really focused on trying to trying to grow. Do you feel pressure going into this year? Is it different than years past, or what? Why would I feel pressure? I, I feel I pressure. It. I feel pressure. You know, whether you know, my pressure is just trying to be good, uh, and I'm talking about me, my coaching staff, to try to help the guys be successful. So I don't feel any more pressure just from the perspective of being back-to-back -back national champs because. You know that's all in the past, and so we we the pressure is to just to try to be at our best, and uh, so you know that that'll be our goal when we when we uh, roll in there against Mercyhurst. You know, Ian said that um, he thinks kind of the difference maybe between last year and this year will be a little bit more depth at a lot of different positions. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I, uh, you know, part of that stems from staying healthy in camp and then getting through a, a season, a long season, and and keeping bodies healthy, but. Yeah, I think we've improved our roster. Um, you know, people think that's weird for me to say, but the 2022 season, um, we played with a lot of young players. And uh, um, in 2021, we had a very veteran team, um, particularly on offense. And then in 2022, we had a relatively young team on offense. Um, defense has been stable. I think, you know, they'll be uh, have a lot of depth and, and play very confidently but offensively uh you know 2022 should have been the down year and and we were able to you know be able to make some things happen what does that say about this team that you thought it was going to be a down year and you went and won a national championship well it says everything about the the men you know it says something about you know their drive to be you know the best version of themselves and and so that's how they focus um you know you, you got Xavier Wade here who you know, got hurt in week two covering a punt. And, uh, you know, now he's on a medical and he, you know, our strength coach just raves about him. Like Xavier Wade has had the greatest off season. It, you know, we're so excited about him. And then you got Ian Hall who graduated. <laughs> yeah, I just laugh. He graduated in the spring of 2020. So he's been out of, he's, he's, he's got his degree spring of 2020 and he's playing here in 2023 so uh you know it's just obviously and the other thing is obviously our culture you know they just want to be a part of something that's bigger than themselves and and that's how our guys are you know uh you think about you know their passion to to be the best they can be but also uh their passion to just be on a team of of brothers and and that's what's special about it um, so coming off of back-to-back -back championships, is it now an expectation, or what is it to you and the team? The expectation is to be a, a dog, you know, and so being a dog doesn't look into the fact that what you did in the past is significant. Being a dog is, you know, just working to be your best. And so we don't we, we focus on the process. We don't focus on the accomplishment. The accomplishment something in the past. Winning or losing, we don't think about that as much as we think about being at our best. And I always tell our guys, 
Um, you know, the only team that can beat Ferris State is Ferris State. So at the end of the day, that's how our focus is. It's, it's on the dogs, and being a dog means focus on us. And, uh, you know, I do say this, and I say it every year, the best is yet to come. Uh, it's kind of weird to say that when you're back-to-back, -back, but, you know, we say that all the time, the best is yet to come. We're, you know, I remember being in, um, undefeated in 14 in GLIAC champs and, and in 15 undefeated in GLIAC champs. So we won back-to-back -back GLIAC championships and undefeated in, in 16. I said the best was yet to come. And, uh, and so that's the process. That's how we roll. And we won't look at, you know, the back-to-back -back national champs. We will look at just continue, continue to grow. Um, how was the golf outing? Our golf outing? Yeah. It was incredible. Yeah, how'd you do? One of the best golf outings probably by any uh, program in the nation. We get more alumni back and things like that. Now, if you're asking, like, my golf um, game, and, uh, I mean, I golfed a lot more than the outing. Um, for a while, I was golfing four or five days a week, but now I'm down to it's over. And it's sad, but it's over. What was your best but. round this year? I shot 73 at Tullymore, um, so that was a good round, yeah, um, so I think that was my best. Any hole, hole ones this summer? I have not gotten a hole in one in my life, and, that, and, and my but wife literally missed by that much the other day, and she, you know, this, she probably came closer than I've ever come, but <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll get a hole in one sometime when I'm 70 or 80, so, you yeah. know. These are uh, back-to-back national champions each season has had a player that kind of almost defines uh, the season, the win, the championship. 2021, Jared Bernhardt last year, or uh, Caleb Murphy. Do you see a player like that kind of climbing to you know, make that you know, name for himself this year? Wow, that's a good question. So we've got a lot of, lot of uh, guys back, truthfully, you know. Um, obviously, we played be without Xavier last year, and He's one of the best receivers we've ever had at Ferris, so it could be him. Obviously, Malik Mitchell's back for for uh, his third. You know, he he played over half the the 2021 national championship game, and he he was a dog leading us to the national championship victory last year. So he's been incredible for us. Um, you know, so there's a lot of good guys. You know, a lot of good guys. Um, you know, I brought Xavier here today and Ian because they're West Michigan guys, and, and Ian's been here seven years, and, and uh, Zave six. And so um, we got a lot of guys that just are very loyal to the program. So do the, a lot of the other programs. You know, there's some real good football players here today from all the schools. Um, again, to say in college sports, in any sport, back-to-back -back national championships is nothing short of insane. Um, Ferris makes it look easy. How do the Bulldogs just kind of become a juggernaut and just make it look so easy? Wow. Um, it isn't easy, first off. Um, it was really hard. I mean, there was, uh, there was a team in our conference that ended, one, ended up winning the GLIAC championship that was extraordinarily good, like extraordinarily good. And so we all know who they are. Um, and they'll be really good again. They've got two of the best players in the conference at this media day, um, you know, in, in their key positions. I mean, their quarterback's obviously a great player, and their linebacker's a great player. So it's going to be really hard. It wasn't easy last year, you know, when you look at, you know, how uh, it went just versus them. I mean, that just stresses you out right there thinking about it. You know, the first game was down to the wire. They beat us by one. The second game down the wire, we beat them by three. We probably should have won the first game. They probably should have won the second game. God knows, right? And then you add so many uh, teams that are really closing the gap, you know. I don't know uh, if you guys were over at Saginaw watching that game, but, you know, that's down to the wire. And then Davenport, they've done a great job. The Michigan Tech game last year was, like, stressful. So it's not easy. It's uh, Even though um, our guys have been able to just come – and go to work and, and perform just great as, as the season wears on. Um, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work from our players. It's a lot of work from our coaching staff. And it's, uh, it's an extraordinarily uh, sense of accomplishment, but it's back to work.
any excitement in facing that unnamed team? Oh, of course, but I have no idea when it is, nor do I ever think about it. Like, I don't think about uh, that game until um, that week starts, truthfully. Don't, never, I don't even know when it's in the schedule. I know it's there. I don't know it's there. Thanks, Coach. Yep. Thanks, Coach.